Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Agriculture. What reports, if any, has he recently received on the position of New Zealand's agricultural industry in the global marketplace? On behalf of the Minister of Agriculture, I receive numerous reports every day on the position of New Zealand's agricultural industry in the global market. Uh, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Given his government's abolition of the research and development tax credits and the abolition of the fast forward fund, does he agree with the recently released KPMG agribusiness report that says, quote, despite much talk about the importance of improving productivity of the New Zealand economy, the track record to date of the national-led government has suggested they are not fully committed to a view that science is a high priority driver of productivity, and if not, why not? The Honourable Nathan Guy. The Honourable Nathan Guy. The fast forward fund, Mr Speaker, is a fantasy in the minds of the opposition members. The government replaced it with the primary growth partnership fund that actually has some money and is investing in science. The fast forward fund had no money and had not bought any science. Let's get the facts out there. Point of order, the Honourable Darren Hughes. M Mr Speaker, um, if, the, if Mr O'Connor had asked for an explanation of what the fast forward fund was, that answer would have, would have addressed it from the government's perspective. But he was asked whether or not he agreed with a quote from KPMG in an uh, independent group. Had the member asked just that, he might have got a different answer. But the member will recollect that the Honourable Damien O'Connor said, given that the government had done certain things, including abolishing the fast forward fund. And you can't blame the minister for picking up on that part of the question. The, uh, the, the remedy, order the remedy lies Speak, in the speaking hands to the point of, of order, the, Mr Speaker. To the, the point of, point of order, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, is it reasonable for me to expect an answer from the minister or not? No, order. Where the member loads order, I'm dealing with the point of order, where a member adds superfluous information to a question, and the minister chooses to comment on that or question or challenge that information, don't ask me to assist in getting an answer. The remedy lies in the hands of the questioners to ask tight, disciplined questions. The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, given the minister's answer, how much of his primary growth partnership money allocated to agricultural research has actually been given to them so far? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Uh, on behalf of the Minister of Agriculture, this is a very exciting initiative and we're working, we're, working, we're working with industry to ensure that this is going to work very, very well, unlike the failed policies of the last government. I am unable to uh, produce that figure at the moment, Mr Speaker, but what I can say is this government has invested in Budget 09 $30 million and the next year's budget $40 million and the budget thereafter $50 million per annum, and the budget thereafter that $70 million. Order, point of order, Mr. Speaker. the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I know that was a little noisy. But I may have missed the answer if it was indeed there. How much of the money has been given out order, so far? Order. If the, if the members want to hear clear answers, the remedy again lies in members' hands to be a little more, less rowdy with interjections. Now, order, I... Will not, uh, no one will make any further comment now. And well, the member did ask a very direct question there. Uh, unfortunately, though, the primary question asked is such that one couldn't necessarily expect the minister to have that detailed information. The minister indicated in his answer that he didn't have that detailed information on him now, and that is a perfectly proper answer. Uh, the, is this a point of order? Or is this a point of order, Mr Speaker? The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, I don't, I don't want uh, to trifle with the, the House, but I, I do seek leave to support the tabling of this KPMG report, uh, tabled by my colleague just Order, that's, order, that's not a, a point KPMG of order. Report, the member will resume his seat. I fail to see how that's got anything to do with the with order in the House here, because, uh, as I understand it, that document has been... Leave was sought to table the document, and I think that's been granted. And uh, the standing orders do not provide for a member to get to their feet under a point of order and support the, uh, uh, the tabling of a document that's already been tabled. So uh, I invite some member to ask a supplementary question. David Shearer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given that the KPM, 
Given that the KPMG report argues for the investment of leading edge science into the wool and meat industries, how does he believe this will occur with the loss of 36 top scientists and technicians from ag research? And what's his government doing about it? The Honourable Nathan Guy. On, on, behalf, on behalf of the Minister of Agriculture, there has been a uh, MAF report that was commissioned in 2009 to do with the meat and sheep uh, beef industries. What I've said uh, publicly on numerous occasions is if there's going to be any drive and rationalisation to do with these industries, then uh, it needs to come from uh, the industry itself. And we're also investing in research and development, which is a big part of our focus uh, of this government and mine as Minister of Agriculture. Question. Supplementary question, the Honourable Darren Hughes. Can, can the Minister confirm that the KPMG report received from the Government confirms that not one dollar has been allocated or spent on the Government's programme, which he's been lauding in the House this afternoon? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Uh, I haven't been able to uh, get through the, the, the entire uh, document on behalf of the Minister of Agriculture, uh, but as I said before uh, to that former member of OTACI, uh, that this government, uh, this government does have a real focus on this initiative and that member should wait for the announcement in budget uh, on the 20th of May. Question, question number eight, Tim McIndoe. 